ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we're talking about the NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti. So we have the specs being revealed for it, and also a look at some of the custom models of that graphics card. Now first, to the person that commented that we have Tech Jesus and now we have Tech Gangster, that's one of the funniest comments I've seen for quite a while, so thank you very much. Now, as far as the card goes, these recent leaks, it's coming up very, very soon. These recent leaks come from uh, videocards.com, which of course it does because a lot of leaks come from that website. And uh, we see that the name is confirmed to be the GTX 1660 Ti, which uh, I have no idea why Nvidia is calling it the GTX 1660 Ti. Like, like picture this as a, a customer and a salesperson at a tech retailer store. The customer comes in looking to buy a new graphics card and he sees the GTX 1660 Ti. So he's like, oh, is that from last generation? And the salesperson's all like, no, 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 it's, it's from this generation. And the customer's like, uh, okay, I thought the 1000 series were Pascal. And the sales guy's like, they are, but this one's Turing. Oh, okay, so the 1660 Ti is a higher number than 1080 Ti. Is it more powerful? No, 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 it's nowhere near that powerful. It's more similar to a GTX 1060. But why isn't it just called the 1660 Ti? Because it isn't Pascal. But then why is it called the GTX if the Turing cards are called RTX? And it's like the, the customer like doesn't know what... <laughs> what it is they're so confused and the sales reps like losing their mind it's like what the fuck was nvidia thinking when they put this out the naming makes no sense tech reviewers and the people that watch a lot of tech youtube you guys will know what it is because you watch videos like this but average consumers are just going to be so confused by this it's called gtx it's current generation but it has the name from last generation. It's 1660, which people think higher is better. So they think that's higher than like 1080 and 1080 Ti. It's just so confusing. I have no idea what they were thinking with this. But I mean, that's just the name. I guess we can't get too worked up over it. Uh, it's just really, really bizarre. And I am just really confused by why they picked that. They could have called it, I don't know, the, the 2050 Ti or the you know, the GTX 2050 or something like that, if they're gonna release an RTX 2050, then they could still do that and it would be less confusing. It would still be kind of confusing GTX, RTX, but at least it's all 2000, so it kind of makes sense. Anyway, anyway, let's get back and talk about these specs then. <laughs> so specs wise, it's actually kind of interesting. So it's gonna be coming with the 12 nanometer TU116 Turing GPU and there's gonna be a few models of it. Now, CUDA cores and memory will vary, but in general, they're going to be trimmed down versus the RTX 2060, so they're going to be a lot less. It won't have any of the ray tracing stuff either, so that kind of makes sense why they're using the GTX branding rather than the RTX branding. Performance will also be less than the 2060, probably by a decent amount, I'd say. It's going to be, I would guess, judging from these specs, about 20% faster maybe than the uh, 1060 that's probably where I would put it judging on those specs but yeah I don't know it's hard to say at this stage and it's going to be coming out in 10 days time from when this video goes up hopefully uh, on the February the 22nd I believe that's where I'm hearing anyway so it's going to be coming out very very soon I think the car depending on what the pricing will be I've seen different sites report different pricing it's obviously going to be less than the 2060 it would make no sense for it to be a you know the same price so maybe 300 us uh something like that i would imagine it'll be interesting to see how the card sells i mean the specs wise and everything else it's certainly going to be interesting and for people that aren't you know there was already enough talk about is the ray tracing stuff with the 2060 even going to be worth it and I think for a lot of people, maybe saving money there will be a good thing. So it'll be a kind of interesting card when it comes out, but I'm not really holding my breath for it. And I think the naming wise is just so bizarre that I think average consumers, 
I don't know if Nvidia has done this on purpose as well to make more people buy the 2060, but I just think it's going to be so confusing and it's going to cause nightmares for sales staff working in retail stores having to try explain this to customers when they come in. Um, maybe customers that have been keeping up, sort of kind of keep up with PC tech. They're just going to be so confused. So yeah, that's what I think of it. It's certainly going to be interesting and I'll hopefully check it out when it comes out. But I want to throw it to you guys like always. Hey, uh, what do you think? Is this a card that interests you? What do you think about the name? I mean, <laughs> are you as bothered by it as I am? Or do you think it makes perfect sense? I don't know. Maybe there's something I'm missing, but I really don't think so. I'd like to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Oh my God. Do you guys ever have like a person that when you message them, it takes them so damn long to reply? You're like, are you on Mars or something? Like, are you the Mars Curiosity rover? Because it takes like, it, it would take less time for the rover to return a message than you would. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness.